we're getting our hair done just like Nicki Minaj. So basically we're getting some long ass weave. We're gonna be rocking, you know, body length, basically wigs. This is a dream come true for me if you know me, cause you know I'm about that wig life. I've never worn a wig in my life. I love wigs, I'm a big fan. I love wearing colors. I've done red, I've done um, a turquoise, I've done blonde. I've worn weaves, so in but never a wig. I've definitely wanted to try out like a pink or a silver. But this is the one time I actually specifically would like a wig because how am I gonna take a shower with all that? It's not gonna fit in a shower cap. I don't get them that often because the kind that I like are the kind that Beyonce also likes and me and Beyonce in two different tax brackets. Thank God I don't live with any women because I would have to with one eye open. Cause this much I snatch a wig, literally. <laughs> What advice would you give like aspiring hairstylists? Be open. Be open and be willing to learn. Be, be willing to, to take a back seat sometimes. How the saying goes, it takes 10 years to be an overnight success. So if you're starting now, yeah. respect the process. Yeah, see, uh, see, see? It's over here, over here, Essence. Let's talk about it, put it on my cow. I feel like when I dance right now, okay? Okay, y'all, so we're supposed to be to work at 10 o'clock. I'll probably get in around 10.30. I was in the bathroom so long and I forgot I had a boiled egg on the stove. So y'all, like how about I burnt the egg? My egg burnt, but guess what? My wig is popping. I am on my way to work. One train runs like every hour. I have to go scarf over it because the way this hairline is set up, that's something we're not about to do. I'm just a little bit concerned about like getting on and off the train, making sure nobody steps into me. You want your wig to be snatched, but not that kind of snatched. So look who just came in. Oh, it it looks so, Is it still intact? It's still intact. You did such a good job. <laughs> Come on, let me get a full. Oh, yes. Oh my God. I'm obsessed. What's going on? Why is your hair so long? <laughs> what do you think? It's literally longer than your dress. <laughs> A group, a group coming to you a soon. A group, a lifestyle. We, re we really do look like an R&B group though. Look at how. Look at how. I mean, this is just shoot all my videos from this angle so you guys can just like understand. Lots of excitement, especially from gay men first, black women second, straight men who wanted my number third. Work. So I'm on this super crowded subway right now. I'm under someone's armpit. I know it's, I don't even blame you, sir. Nicki Minaj does not have to deal with this. So I made it to work on time. Got to do a little light beat onto this face. Here's my little makeup bag. We're off to do some good work. No, the wig is not hiding under this scarf. It was gonna be too much to comb that out this morning and try to be at work at a decent time. But I do have it with me. It's in this bag, along with my lunch. Probably shouldn't be storing it in there, but I don't have like a personal wig holder or wig case like Nicki Minaj probably does. All right, everyone, here with Essence. And I'm really all about trying to make it work. So yes. we're going for a Bohemian Rockstar 70s braid right now, okay? Mm -hmm. It could also be used yes. as a weapon. <laughs> yes. 
I have not put on that wig all day. I'm just rocking my cornrows because um, I don't feel like putting on that wig. So I guess I'm kind of cheating. Don't tell Patrice and Sylvia. They're probably cheating too, so I don't feel that bad. So I'm on my way to a shoot and I had to take a break from the wig because I didn't have time to comb it out or even make it look cute, but I wanted to look, you know, presentable. I'm actually wearing another wig. I'm not like nervous when I walk out of the house anymore. I get the most judgy looks from older black women who are like, girl, these kids today are doing too much. The week of wearing a wig that just so happened to be 40 inches of hair was actually a lot of work. Trying to have enough time to you know, do my makeup, put on clothes, make sure I had everything in my bag while making sure my wig wasn't gonna slide off. I cut half of it off. And it's still long as hell. <laughs> you know, that's a wig for divas because that wig is a diva herself. Hair was everywhere. Weave was at every floor, every corner, every cranny. I loved it. I love the look. It's definitely like I still have my wig at home and I will be pulling her out. Her name is Quinn. It was a moment. Like it was nice for a moment, a weekend situation. It'll be like a cute Hamptons wig. This was my gateway wig. I'm definitely gonna be like playing with length and color more from now on. But there is something very powerful, I will say this about wig life, about being able to take your hair off. Just like, and just can escape all that was happening for you and then put it back on and it's like, boom, and it's right back to it. That's crazy. 